It is our sincere hope that voters will begin to move past the so-called struggle, politics, and rhetoric, and realize that our country does not reside with political dinosaurs that are out of touch with the current modern-day realities and the global village situation. Today, we are not launching the PDM's manifesto. We are launching our cabinet proposal to Namibians. The PDM proposes the following ministries, which will cut the size of the cabinet to 15 ministers, one five, and only four deputy ministers in our country. This country can't afford to have a bloated civil, uh, bloated cabinet structure. We are correct to say we can't even afford these positions. Our first ministry that we shall be announcing, we shall have a minister of international relations. We shall have a second minister of defense. We shall have a minister of finance and economic planning. We shall not have the old system of having a director of national planning and a minister of finance. Finance would be dovetailed with economic planning. Education, science, sports and culture. We shall not have two ministers, one for higher education and one for elementary education. Five, health, gender and social services will become one ministry. Home affairs and national security. National security will comprom comprise the police. Home affairs and the police shall become one ministry under our administration. Justice and attorney general shall become one ministry. Agrarian water and land reform shall become one ministry. Environment, tourism and fisheries will become one ministry. We shall add housing, housing, local and regional governance will become one ministry because housing is a crisis area to us. Mines, energy, works and transport will become one ministry. We shall have a ministry of trade, SME and industry. We shall have a ministry of youth and employment creation. We shall not relegate the youth debate to just representing the youth to represent the future of tomorrow. The biggest challenge that is challenging the young people in this country is unemployment. The capable youth that will be given this ministry will be given an economic portfolio of employment creation to make sure that young people in our country will get jobs in their lifetimes. We shall have a ministry of information, research and digital economy. Research is very important that we need, we need to start researching our development trajectory. We need to put a lot of emphasis on the digital economy because the whole world is moving to e-governance and we would put up a ministry that will address a component of research and digital economy to take our country forward. The last ministry would be a particular ministry that is very important. It will be a minister of coordination, ev coordination, evaluation and implementation in the office of the prime minister. Why? A lot of time, governments have good policies that they, that they are writing, but they are not implementing these policies. We don't want to fall trap in creating to become a policy jargon government that never implements like the current Harambe administration. We want every policy that we create must be implemented, and we want a minister to supervise implementation, coordination, and evaluation under the office of the prime minister. I also announced today that the four deputy ministers that will ever serve in our government would be a deputy minister for finance and economic planning to help steering the affairs, both the fiscal and monetary policies of our country. We shall have a, minister, a deputy minister of education, youth, education, sports and culture. We shall have a, minister, a deputy minister for housing, local and regional, regional governance. We shall have a minister, deputy minister for health, gender and social welfare. Those four thematic areas are very important and are large ministries that would need the assistance of an assistant minister to help the ministers. The rest of the ministries would be men by one person. We have seen a lot of countries around the globe, big economies that are run by smaller ministries. And we are seeing in this country and the culture erupting in Africa that we want to create the same structure, the current structure that the Harambe administration has, 
is the same structure that the government of China has, for example. A country that is running a population of over 1.4 billion people. China has a vice president, it has a prime minister, a deputy prime minister. It's a big country. Tanzania, with more than 65 million people, have the same structure. But a country of 2.5 million cannot have the same structure as China. And if you look at countries such as Finland, Switzerland, Germany, and many other countries, you can see that the way to go is to have a smaller cabinet for more and more resources to reach the people. That we are going to create a people-centered VIP government. We will end this gravy train that is happening behind. That we are going to create a people-centered VIP government. We will end this gravy train that is happening behind me, where ministers each has three cars. These things will end. More and more resources will go to the Namibian people. The government leaders will not become the VIPs. The people of this country will become the VIPs of our country. Our priorities in the first 100 days, very briefly, is the following. Under the office of the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister will be the overall chief responsible for coordination and evaluation and implementation. She or he will be tasked to bring efficient policy in the civil servants and revise the emergency service, to revise an emergency policy. The in, uh, on international relations, whoever is going to be the office bearer will be tasked in promoting human rights and economic interests across the globe. During our first 100 days, we shall rearrange our international embassies to reorganize them to improve our country's geopolitical interests across the globe. And believe you me, we shall cut solidarity missions. We shall not create ministries just because we are in solidarity with people. Our mission